This is an Easel Studio TV floor stand. I'm just gonna unbox this cardboard piece. Instruction, the stand to hold the TV gadgets. There's no way you can fit 2010 set-top boxes on top of this thing. It's gotten a lot smaller, so I think that's why it's feasible to have like a painting looking like stand like this. An easel stand, by the way, is this stand that looks like a thing where you use it to paint on. And so when you put your TV on it, it kind of looks artistic, I guess. You've got these wood looking feet here. I think it's real wood. The bottom foot right here. We've got a second one. We've got a third one. This is like a cable hider. This is absolutely necessary or else you're gonna see all these cables flying off the stand. Some kind of retaining ring. Another doohickey piece. This piece is a little bit heftier, like so. And got some hardware here. These are the brackets to hold the TV and quite a bit of hardware for you to mount the TV. There's more hardware here. Put this on here, tighten. Same thing on the other side. Loosen this screw. Put this guy on top of this one. You got this little magnetic cover piece. Stick that in there. Comes back off easily. Now let's take a look at the back here. Now this bolt goes from here straight all the way up through there. If I push the bolt through there, you can see it peek through. In order for this to thread into here, this needs to be straight. So let's put that right there. It's nice and straight. And we put the bolt in and screw it tight. You really do need this extra long Allen wrench here. Install this locking collar. I'm just gonna put it on the second hole for now. I'm not sure how high I actually want the TV just yet and I'll just adjust it later. That's good for now. And then this plastic ring on top. These instructions require a little bit of explaining. There is this picture six here. This is the second picture of picture six. These are possible mounting screws for your TV. You don't have to use all of them. You just use four of them. Each column is one possible mounting possibility. So you can either use MA, MB, MC or MD or ME. Note that on the top there's these things called PB, which allows you to string a wire through them for extra safety precaution. And then at the bottom, there's these MF things, which are just these little brackets. And on the very bottom, there are possibilities of putting in various of these plastic shims in case you need to put plastic shims. So there's a lot of variation and it really depends on your TV. This is roughly a 42 inch TV. I've got it unmounted and we probably need to connect to these mounting points over here. The stand comes with these screws, so we just need to find the screws in this packet that somehow matches. It looks like it's a little bit recessed in there, so I probably will have to use some of those standoffs. Let me find which screw works first. It appears for me MC works, and an easy way to tell is you just take your hand and lightly screw it in. It shouldn't take much effort at all and just, you know, screw in pretty easily like this. And that will tell you that it matches the screw hole. So I need the big offset and the little offset. And then this bracket here, take care to have the screw hole on the left side. That's the way it's supposed to go. And then you put this right on top. There's this backing plate. You put that on there and no tie down for the bottom one. You put this right in, screw it down to sneak this in underneath this bracket here. The big one, small one, pull it over there. And I saw also have another backing plate and the screw. These two pieces are different. One of them opens up, the other one is a solid one. So the solid one goes on the top of the TV. Put the spacer, another little spacer, Put this guy on top. We need one backing plate, one tie down mount, and one of the screws. Now for the last hole, the spacer, another spacer. Put that on top. We got the backing plate again, and the tie down for the wire. Screw that in. I'm just making sure this tie down isn't all the way against the edge here. Well, you're supposed to lift it with two people, but this is a fairly small screen, only 42 inches. So I think I can just do it by myself, just fine. 
No, no. Maybe not. Urgh. You see this bracket swings around. You need to keep this open while putting this on there. Okay, let me do that again so you guys can see because it was on the other side. So keep the bottom bracket open, thread the top hole over, and here we go. It's fairly stable, even with just the top bracket. I actually think I want it a little bit lower, so I'm gonna take this off and adjust it maybe two notches down. One, two, tighten this one up. Seems like it doesn't really need to be tightened. Seems like it just sits on top of that screw. It's not going anywhere. Still gotta tighten that back up right there. Oh, great. Okay. Certainly doing it by one person is a little bit dangerous. If you don't wanna break a TV, this is kind of risking it, but let me just close this bracket here. Put in the last final touch of this screw. Just a little plastic piece that sits on top, which is nice. And then you got these little adjustable little leg things and you can just make it flat. Because you do need something to put on top of the TV, like Apple TV. You can twist it a little bit with limited range, but do note that if you twist it a little bit too much, like right here, it's less balance, right? If you push it, it's easier to fall over. But if it's like this, there's like a little bit bigger base, so it won't tilt over as easily. Now I'm not gonna fully mount the anti-fall wire rope. I'm gonna show you guys anyway though, without drilling into the wall for now, but I'm gonna use the hardware to show you guys how it's done. You need a drywall anchor, the drywall screw, the bracket that mounts onto the wall, and you have these wire tie down things and the wire itself. The PG thing at the end is really for the smallest screws. If you use these on your monitor, then you need these washers. The preferred way is to string them through String it through the other hole too. Let's say the wall is like over here and the tie down is into the wall. And so we want to mount it to this bracket. So we just string it through here and we put one of these little guys on, tighten this up. You probably don't want to leave a lot of slack. You want to kind of have it tight enough so that if this falls over just a little bit, it's gonna hold on to the TV. So I'm going to thread one of the wires through here and kind of like get it to about this tight or so. And then I'm gonna push this mounting screw here and tighten this one. And I would probably just kind of roll this up and not really uh, cut it or anything, just in case I wanna remount it later on, maybe in a different position and it'll be attached to the wall like that. I took some time to get rid of my old TV stand and try to arrange everything that I would like it to be. But you can see here, I have a surround sound system that doesn't really fit into this whole minimalist painting frame thing. You got the left and right speaker that, you know, just kind of dangles around on the floor. We really want it to be sort of at listening level, a little bit higher like this. I also have the surround sound speakers that I only deploy if I'm watching a movie, which is in a rare case. You can hold an Apple TV on the top but there is something I want to talk about is this channel in the back. You can only fit like maybe two cables at most. Anything more than that is just going to dangle down here. So I was planning on putting this up here so then, you know, it's less cluttery. But then this cable is really thick. It doesn't fit in the channel behind this thing. Overall, I think it looks really good. Just you know, if you can just use the TV by itself, if you're a minimalist type of person that only use the built-in TV speaker, then this would look really good. You only need like a streaming device and probably if you don't play video games or anything. Otherwise, you'll have a console that doesn't fit in with this whole minimalist look. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys are interested in getting one of these Putterson easel TV frames. Check out my affiliate link down in the video description below. It won't increase the price or anything. It's just all the same price. It's just that if you buy it through somewhere else or if you just search for it for yourself, the extra commission is just gonna go towards Amazon instead of them paying out to the referees like myself. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. <laughs>